it basically we have Pharrell to blame for no doubt being at all relevant i want to say Don't no at me. take that back my anaheim girl take that back an unprecedented five animated films were in the top 10 last weekend which is pretty cool and one of them was a documentary it was piece by piece from uh documentary filmmaker morgan neville making his first animated slash lego animated movie <laughs> and it's all about pharrell williams yeah, Morgan Neville won an Oscar for 20 Feet from Stardom, which was about backup singers. So there's mm. clearly a love for music and performing. And so that makes sense with Pharrell. And then like the whole Lego ethos makes total sense with Pharrell with like just the way that he tells his story of his childhood and um, it just with the music that he makes, there's like a playful quality to it that seems to fit. No, no pun intended no. really well with uh with him and his music so come hang out with us come subscribe to us we'd love to see you and we love talking about documentaries and this is like an animated documentary so it's all the things we like all in one place who did that for real for real for real for real wow for real williams producer singer songwriter and you realize just how many songs he has done like over the last 30 years of our lives like you forget oh right he's done important britney spears songs and justin timberlake songs and i don't think i ever, ever realized that he did holla back girl and and hella good for no doubt like, yeah it, it basically <laughs> we have pharrell to blame for no doubt being at all relevant i want to say don't no at me. take that back my anaheim girl <laughs> take that back she's relevant <laughs> But you realize, I did, but you know what I thank mean. Thank you. Yes, but you realize Dave's like Dave's wagging a finger at me. <laughs> oh, Dave, thank you for the support. Um, so, mm. but you do realize how wide ranging his music has been. Yeah. And one thing I love about this is the, the way that they depict how songs appear to him. Like from a very, very young age, you see little baby Lego Pharrell growing up in Virginia Beach in the projects. And the way that music would just consume him entirely, and he would see it in colors, which right. makes the colorful nature of Lego such a perfect fit to tell his story. Um, there's so many cool details in here. We've seen so many Lego movies at this point between the Lego movie and like Lego Batman movies and sure. Lego Ninjago, and they're not all created equal. But I feel like the way that they use the pieces and the way that they depict his world is so clever and so inspired over and over again, beginning with his childhood. You see him sitting in front of the speakers, listening to like Stevie Wonder's Songs in the Key of Life. Yeah. And I think an early indication of how they're going to use the Legos in creative ways is how they render him, like letting the music physically wash over him. And then he gets sucked into this like Lego tunnel of that Stevie Wonder album cover. It's like right. the reds and the oranges <laughs> of that album cover. And you see him like kind of hurtling through it. Like, oh, that's cool. So over and over again, you see how music's been a, a huge force in his life since his earliest days and how he met like Timbaland and Missy Elliott. And it's, I mean, in its structure, it's a pretty traditional kind of biopic like documentary structure like growing up poor with aspirations and like struggling and making it big and having a bit of a downfall and having a bit of a redemption like the beats are no pun intended the beats are familiar <laughs> um but it's so playful and then there's real emotion eventually that is very surprising. Um, I love the way that they render the individual beats that he comes up with as like pulsating, colorful yes. <laughs> shapes, like little like prisms and orbs. And like he's got them all tucked away in different little lockers and he pulls them out to make different songs. And, and so that's really fun the way that they visually depict music here. Um, also, it's just adorable to see like lego snoop dog and lego gwen stefani <laughs> and so all of that's we, really fun we've needed lego daft punk in our lives i think so <laughs> they do I, get I'm, little lego helmets it's I'm, so cute i'm glad we finally made that leap yeah the, you, you you go into this thinking okay this is a gimmick um but yeah no you're right they actually think come up with a lot of perfect like they they make it work for the story that they're telling and the way that they are trying to kind of manifest ideas about music and how people respond to it and how people create it. And they use the Legos, I think, in a really clever way. I mean, in the bigger picture, this falls under the umbrella of, you know, documentary made with, uh, you know, made under the auspices of the subject. And we talk about this a lot where it's like, well, if you want access to the catalog, you know, you, this person's going to have a say, so they're not really going to rip the lid off of anybody. It's going to be pretty, you know, 
quasi infomercial the whole time and 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 there's a lot of these docs at this point so at least this one's a lego one which is different <laughs> um but I, at the same time i think it, it does it wh whatever your feelings about pharrell personally i think that the movie is more about just the idea of creativity and where ideas come from and how like kids can sort of lock into a thing that they respond to and and kind of follow that through their lives i mean this is designed to be a kid-friendly movie. Not only is it Lego animated, there's a great joke in the Snoop Dogg segment that I won't give away about yes. keeping the film's PG rating. That was um, cute. <laughs> you know, so like, this is a great movie to take kids to just as sort of an inspiration of like, look, if there's a, if there's something that you feel strongly and about that, 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 that speaks to you as a person, uh, whether it's the arts, whether it's, you know, whatever it is like, you know, follow that thing and it can take yeah. you to really amazing places. If you work hard enough and you dedicate yourself to it. Um, so yeah, I mean, Neville is a, is a terrific documentary and I love like best of enemies. And I mean, like he's made so many that are, are really great. And, and, he makes the leap into, you know, this whole other way of telling a story in, in a in a fascinating way. We've seen animated documentaries before, obviously, Persepolis and, um, you know, different ones like that. And and that's a certainly it's a it's a not just a valid way to make a movie, but I think, you know, in, in cases where you don't have like the footage of a thing that happened mm -hmm. and it's somebody's memory of it, then animation allows you to capture all that. In this case, yes, you do actually have the footage if you wanted it. But I think that they, they've, they've taken the idea of the animated documentary and specifically the Lego animated yeah. documentary to a place that absolutely works for what they're doing here. Yeah, there's a whole segment of videos of people, again, Lego renderings of videos of people <laughs> responding to the song Happy. <clears throat> Yeah. And it's like different countries like Estonia, France, Ukraine. And I have to assume these were actual like TikTok videos or Instagram videos or whatever it is, like actual vertical videos that they then right. rendered in Lego form. Like I have to assume that Morgan, Morgan Neville sat down with Gwen Stefani in her living room, you know, and the gardeners actually were in the backyard <laughs> right. and she had to go and say, hi, pardon me, we're shooting something. Like that's <laughs> cute little asides like that are all over the place here. I have to assume that these, these are like Lego renderings of what actually happened in real life. Yeah. I, and right? I'm sure if we did some digging on YouTube, we would find those like that. That seems like the kind of thing. I mean, there was a, that song was such a phenom at the time. Like, <laughs> you know, I'm sure there were a lot of people doing their own sort of lip sync videos. You know, uh, a friend of Dave's and mine actually dances in the 24 hour happy video that was created <laughs> where it, 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 it's shot to look like one sort of seamless take and it's all over Los Angeles. And oh, uh, yeah, so, you know, that, you know, it's funny. I remember that in this movie, you, you know, he had like a bit of a career slump and then he does, you know, get lucky with with daft punk and then happy and i could have sworn those were reversed but i looked it up and actually get lucky came out like three months before happy did they were both okay. 2013 releases so you know you're right you're right movie i'm sorry yes. if i ever question you but speaking um, of that slump <laughs> though i i know we think these are often hagiographies of people sure. but like that slump lets him acknowledge that he was an asshole and yes. that he and when and when he tried to appeal to everyone he ended up appealing to no one when he right. deviated from the core weirdness that made him interesting and made him singular like yeah. it all went to his head like the money and the clothes and all the different side projects like i think that there is a, a level of candor that we don't yeah. necessarily always see in these kinds of movies where someone's involved with the production of it. No, this is true. I mean, like you, you have the guy from Sony talking about how like if Pharrell did some song and how, Oh, this is the radio cut. And this one's for the girls. It's like, no, you, they come to you. You don't go to them, you know, <laughs> and, and push a teasing like, yeah, we'd be the song. It was terrible. You never heard of it. And that's why, cause it's the worst, you know? Yeah. So and yeah, there, a, there's that. I'm sorry. Pardon me. I was no, they no. have a section also, where they try to touch on Black Lives Matter, the whole, like, mm -hmm. that summer of the, all the George Floyd protests. Yeah. And I think they do it in a way that is, you know, approachable for kids, right? As sure. you say, this is meant to be for kids, but, you know, I think adults will appreciate the songs that they'll remember from decades ago. Sure. But also, like they do acknowledge how the song that Kendrick Lamar did was significant during that time. So they like they touch on it just enough to make it relevant and include it in a way that's, you know, poignant without yeah. bogging down the pacing. Sure. Or over explaining it. It's like it's, it's a tough balance, I think, with a subject that's that volatile and that 
emotional. Yeah, no, they they do thread that needle, I think, pretty gracefully. And and I think this is also an interesting movie for people who don't quite understand what producers do musically, uh-huh. you know? Yeah. So, like, mm-hmm. it really kind of takes you, like, here's what the Neptunes did. Here's what they bring to the table. Here's why are all these artists were clamoring to work with them. You know, I, I think it kind of gives you a little a bit of the, the how the how the pieces are put together. If uh-huh. you know. So, I, I wound up enjoying this a lot more than I suspected that I would, and uh, uh, yeah, I think people should check it out. I, I, what's your number? I'm going to say like an 8.8, 8.9. I took Nick with me and we both loved it. Also, a lot of the lighting is really beautiful. Like the sunsets mm. on the beach and like the studio yeah. lighting or the stage concert lighting. Like there's a lot of care that went into making this cinematic and not just like a bunch of little pieces of plastic dancing around. <laughs> right. <laughs> As Dave points out, I love Lego water. You know, all the, right? the stuff with the tide was really, really so beautifully pretty. done. I'll say 8.1. <laughs> I, I, yeah, yeah. It's, it's terrific. People should check it out. Great. Piece by pieces in theaters. Have fun.